So, hello everybody. So this is my review for The Perfect Marriage. So the, a quick synopsis on the book is that you have a wife who's a lawyer and you have a guy who is a douche <laughs> to all intents and purposes. Um, he is also cheating on his wife and he is at his lake house with his mistress and goes... Goes off the next day to meet his wife, and his mistress is found dead in their bed. <laughs> so, that is where everything kicks off. Um, the wife decides to defend the cheater, and the rest is history. Um, you will have to read the book to figure out the rest. So, that is a quick, easy synopsis. Um, I definitely rate this book as a 4 out of 5. Um, it originally had been a 3 because of the fast pacedness of this book it's a lot faster of a book than i have recently read um the other really fast book i read was well we're burning and i may make a video review about that one not too sure if you want to see a review for that one let me know and i will go ahead and make one um your rating is 4 out of 5 for The Perfect Marriage. I originally, like I said, had made it a 3. But because of the twists and the oh my gods that are in this book, I easily elevated that to a 4 out of 5. Um, it For a debut novel, Geneva Rose knocked it out of the ballpark. Um, so much that I actually picked up her newest book, Home is Where the Bodies Are Buried, from Target Day. And I am looking really forward to reading it. And it's just going to be wild. Especially because this, The Perfect Marriage, was just wild. I expect Home is Where the Bodies Are Buried to be just as wild, if not more wild. Especially since I believe Home is Where the Bodies Are Buried is her second book. Or she may have more books. But either way, that is the next book of hers that I'm going to read. Um, I am going to... I did have some issues with this book. That's why it's not a full 5 out of 5. Because I did have issues. So, and I figured out the ending. So, that's why I give it a 4 out of 5. Because I'm usually able to sniff out how books are going to end. And I was able to sniff this out. So, um, if you want to go ahead and watch the video of all the issues that I had, including my theories, um, go ahead and find that video. It's going to be uploaded right after this. And if you have not read the book, then don't even go to that video because there's going to be spoilers. Um, yeah, that is going to be the end of this review. Um, I... My next review is going to be about Lock Every Door by Riley Sager. I am super excited to read this book. I have a lot of theories already about it. And if it ends up going the way that I think it is, it is going to be one of my favorite books of the year. Of course, this book I think was not 2024. Now I have to look. Um, it was published in 2020 so it won't be my 2024 favorite but it's gonna be my 2020 favorite <laughs> so i hope you all have a great day i hope you enjoyed my review of the perfect marriage and i will see you either in the spoiler video for the perfect marriage or i will see you in the video for lock every door hope you all have a great day bye